that's literally a deal like you're not getting nothing better than that period <laughs> I'm back with another video. Um, but I'm back with another video. So in today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing. Okay. So I'm doing this on my phone today, guys, because my camera is out of memory and I need to go to Best Buy. <gasps> see? See? You see what I mean? Okay, guys. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and today's unboxing is going to be a luxury unboxing so i went to fendi and um if you guys don't know um outlets i feel like myself they have such great deals like literally i went to woodbury about a week ago to go shopping and woodbury is like a commons near like in between where i live which is albany and new york city and um, it's pretty much like an outlet. Um, they have all designer stores, like everyone you could think of. They have Burberry, they have Montclair, they have Gucci, Balenciaga, Fendi, Saks Fifth Ave. They have everything. So um, I wanted to go down there to go shopping because I needed some stuff. Um, and I couldn't believe how many freaking deals they had. So my best suggestion is if you're looking for designer stuff at a good quality price, but that is designer, bring your ass to the outlets, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure like every state has an outlet. Um, usually they're like kinda in like the suburban areas of like whatever region you live in. Um, where our outlets is, it's in this place called Monroe. Um, like I said, it's Woodbury Alice. If you're from New York, you know where I'm talking about. But yeah, so I had went a little shopping and I got me some goodies from Fendi. And I just wanted to show you guys because I know you guys like these little unboxings that I do. I think the Balenciaga sneaker unboxing went really good. Um, a lot of people liked how I did it, especially because I was able to tell you guys as far as how European sizing goes. But I just wanted to show you guys these shoes because they're kind of popular. Um, they're more popular for I feel like the winter time. Um, but being with the whole coronavirus thing too, I do think that's another reason why there were so many sales. Um, a lot of the winter stuff had to go. So I literally bought these shoes. Please guess the price. Drum roll, please. I literally bought these shoes for $400. They were literally $400. Um, with the sales tax, it came to like a little bit more, but the original price was $400 for some Fendi sneakers. Now, if you go on to Fendi, go on to any site, Neiman Markets, Fendi is like a thousand and up. To get a pair of Fendi shoes for $400, bitch, that's a deal. Like, that's literally a deal. Like, you're not getting nothing better than that period so i definitely recommend bringing your ass to the outlets if you want to get some um luxury stuff but for an affordable price a lot of times um some outlets even have no tax which is really good um i know that lee massachusetts they do not tax at all on any of their um stuff but i don't know if they have designer stores in lee but i do know that there's, there's another outlet in lee lee mass and um they do not have taxes so i think that's really dope yeah so i wanted to get into these shoes and i wanted to show you guys how they fit as well um i got a size 39 again um i feel like a 39 is pretty much my size in all like european shoes um i just feel like that's what suits me uh 38 i can wear in some shoes because i did try 38 in there um of these different um fendi shoes and they did fit but i feel like a 39 is what like really like I know will be good and I don't have to like size up or size down like that's literally my size like I said if, if you guys seen the last video you know what type of feet I have I have like wide small feet um so my size is always iffy when it comes to Italian shoes or European shoes in general so I do think that um if you have if you guys have trouble with sizes just like I do definitely go look at the video that I did on the Balenciaga sneakers because they show you basically everything like how my foot is um my arch in my foot because i have a really big arch in my foot so um yeah so i'm just basically gonna show you guys these shoes um i hope you guys enjoy this video do not forget to make sure you like comment and subscribe and keep coming back to my channel 
because I love you guys so much and I love sharing stuff like this with you guys because I feel like it's relatable because a lot of the time when you do buy um, designer stuff it's so iffy and it's like once you get it you get it like when I went there he told me like 20 times before I cashed out he was like is this are you sure this is what you want there's no return policies it's all sales is final so something that I feel like a lot of people struggle with so I want to make these videos very um beginner friendly for you guys as well too especially for people who haven't bought designer stuff but are planning on buying buying designer stuff as well so um yeah i think that's all and um i think we can get into this video so let's go okay so this is how it came um i did try these on in the store um but yeah this is a box that it came in and they are the women's sneaker they have a rubber, so rubber sole and they're called Bianco Nero is the color, I guess. And they were originally, this is the original price is on here, guys. They were originally $9.50. And with sales tax, if you know how designer stuff works, with sales tax, that would have been a good thousand dollars because designer tax is literally a hundred and some a hundred and twenty dollars more in New York State. I don't know what it is in other states, but I know for sure in New York State, if you buy a luxury item and it is like five hundred dollars, you're gonna be paying six six fifty around that area because the luxury tax is so high out here. So, um, like I said, this is the box, and I'm gonna show you guys the shoes look like. So it came with a duster bag, even though I got it in the store, which I'm kind of surprised about. But I guess all designer stuff comes with. I'm new to this whole buying luxury luxury stuff, guys. So bear with me. Um, but yeah, so it came with a duster bag, and it came with two for each shoe. So when I travel, so that's pretty cool. And then he did wrap them in plastic for me. And then it comes with this little thing that says Fendi. I never actually opened this. So this is actually gonna be the both of us. Let's see if I can show you guys. I'm holding it with one hand, by the way. So it says Fendi. And I think it's just like a little. I really don't know what this is. Oh, it's just like, you know, manufacturing stuff. It's literally the same one. I think they're in all different languages, yeah. So yeah, that's that. And then, I guess I don't know what that is. And then it came with this, like, it kind of looks like, like real tissues. Like, it's supposed to be tissue paper, I believe, but this literally feels like a real tissue. Like that you would blow your nose with which is pretty interesting so yeah and that's everything that it basically came with and like i said guys i got these in a size 39. so now we're gonna get into the shoe now this is the shoe i'm gonna put let me show you guys both of them together actually so these are the shoes So these are the shoes. Um, they are basically like, how would you say? Like, I wouldn't say running sneakers, but they are like, I don't know. Like, I guess you would call these boots. What what do they call them? Let me see what the name of these are. They're called sneakers, fabric sneakers with rubber soles. Yeah, that's literally what they're called. Um, when I go, I'll link what it says on the website exactly of the name of these shoes. But um, I've seen a lot of like celebrities wear these shoes as well, like with jeans a lot of the time, the ripped jeans. I bought these because I wanted to wear them with like some black ripped jeans and like, you know, a cute outfit with my hair done. Cause you know, that's always a vibe. But um, yeah, so I bought these and they're so cute. Um, they do look kind of big to me in person, but they're actually not that big. I'm gonna put these on and show you guys how they look on my feet. But um, I do wanna let you guys know they do feel, they're really fitted. Like they're extremely fitted. Um, they kind of actually almost look a little tight sometimes when I look at them, but they are supposed to be fitted. I asked the guy, um, I tried on a 40 as well. So I know for a fact that these are my size. Um, he did tell me that it takes a little while for them to like, for you to get, you know, used to, but um, they definitely start to feel more fitted and 
feel better once you start wearing them. But um, yeah, they're, they're a super fitted shoe, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up now. Um, I don't know if I should put some jeans on and show you guys. I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some jeans on and show you guys how they look with jeans, just because that's ultimately how I'm gonna wear them. Um, so I'll be right back and I'm just gonna put some jeans on and then show you guys how they look on my feet. And I just love the logo. I had seen okay, so I had seen two right, and he was like, "Are you what? What's your kind of style?" He was like, "Are you a logo type of person or do you like plain Jane?" And I'm like. I'm a plain Jane, but so like sometimes I want to show wow, honey. Bling, bling, bling. Bitches is mad. <laughs> so I was like, you know, it's my birthday. Let me just get these. So I got these with the logos all over them because, you know, <laughs> I just feel like these are super cute. And I um, like that they're black and white because they can go with anything. Um, and yeah, I just really love the details of the shoe. They're super cute. And these are the bottoms. Oh yeah, this is how the heels look. So yeah, so I'm gonna put some jeans on and then show you guys how they look and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's how they look. And I just think, pardon the candles, I went crazy at Marshall's the other day. But these are how they look. And I just think they're so freaking cute. Like, they're so cute with some like, jeans like this. I just think they're so cute and they feel great. And I have socks on right now. They say you don't have to wear socks with these, but I just don't like my feet sweating in shoes. These are just so cute. Like, I just can't. And they're super comfy. I'm surprised. Um, the knit feels super nice. And I just love them. They're just so cute. And they just feel great. Like, they feel super good on the sole. Um, what I do notice is, like, around here is a little tight. But, um... Like I said, they told me that it will stretch out over time. Here we got. And I can like squat in them and like, they feel so good, like, no joke. At first, I didn't think they were gonna fit because of like how tight they felt around the sides, but um, they do feel really good. If I would've got a 40, they wouldn't have fit because I have so much wiggle room, if you guys can see my foot. Like I have so much space. My area right here, I feel like is kind of big. Like I have big calves, if you guys can tell. So I feel like if somebody had bigger calves, I don't know as far as how the fit would be. It might be a little sketchy. They're so cute. Like they feel so good. And they fit perfectly, like to a T. They're super cute and super comfy. Like, I have no pain at all. I feel like comparing them to another designer shoe, they definitely are just as comfortable as um, the Balenciaga track sneakers. Like, they're just super comfortable and the soles of them are super comfy too. And I have so much space. Like, not space to where they're so big, but like space to where I'm like, yeah, they're comfortable. Like, they're my size. I just love them. Bendy prints on. Park. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions um, regarding the shoes or um, want to know as far as sizing goes, um, you can either write me in the comments or you can go back to my last video on the Balenciaga sneakers um, and just compare from there. Um, I know a lot of times sizing is really confusing. The only thing that I would say as far as these shoes is if you have wider calves, just be uh, cautious on that because um, my calves aren't huge, but it likes if you have like fatter calves, I would say you might have a struggle as far as the tightness wise of the knit around your ankle. Um, but that's just like you know a precaution you should keep in mind. That's why I do think trying on designer shoes are better than ordering them online. I just feel like you trying the shoe on tells you how the shoe fits. A lot of these European size shoes, they run very weird. Like some of them can be big, some of them can run small, some of them can run tight. It's just like you know, 
it's a hit or miss so um just keep that in mind uh but besides that i really do love the shoes they're super comfortable i can't express that enough they're super comfortable and they really do fit um as the sole really does feel like compared to another designer sneaker i do feel like it, it's like on the same level of the speed trainers from balenciaga so um i would definitely keep that in mind and definitely make sure you um check out your local designer outlets because you will find deals i promise you like there are so many deals there um, but I think that's it. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're staying safe and washing your hands. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.